Okay, so let's put this double leg drill into a more realistic situation. So showing this a single necktie again. So from there I'm making the cross grip as, as we did before. I shrug the shoulder and I'm making my two on one grip. Now from there a common uh, way out of this two on one control is to only make a, a brace with me and then he'll start to pull his hand out. So again, anytime I make that grip here, he'll put some sort of limb on me and then he'll be using that as a wedge to start to pull his right arm out. So um, we can use that um, as a way to set up our double leg when he goes for that. So once he has that single necktie, I make the cross grip as before, shrugging the shoulder, you know, my two on one. First thing is, very hard, I'm not in the position to hit the, the double leg from here because Jerome's um, legs are all in the wrong position. So I, I use my two on one control using shoulder pressure to make Tyrone take that step with his left foot. The second he gets to there and he makes that move, as he's trying to pull his arm out, all I'm doing is bringing his arm up and now I can level change and get into my whole takedown from there. The minute Tyrone's, um, and I, I make him take that step, the minute he puts his hand on my shoulder, there's no way, if I try to like double leg him from here, it's not going to happen because he's made these frames. So all I'm going to do is I remove this frame by using my two on one grip to, to remove the profile of his left hand on my shoulder. And now I just let go find his legs. So again, hands coming in at the back, penetrating me, making sure that I'm connected to him putting all the weight onto the left or the right side of his body and then I just step up using that knee to redirect. So again, from the single neck tie, strip it off, I get into my two on one and make him take that step and then he makes that wedge, I use that penetrating knee 